What's up guys? Sunday morning and we got everything we wanted to get done on the countertop for now. I just gotta get more stuff so we can make it more countertoppery, like my backsplash stuff. I got the trim done for backsplash, but on the ends I'm gonna put outlets also too when I go to do it. But we got everything put up. Now he's fixing a leak on the roof in the back. There's a patch that somebody put on it when I that years ago and it started to leak again, so He's grinding all the old crap off. I'll show you. There's a crack right there. Bus. See that crack? since then to take care of that problem is we welded this diamond plate on the back bolted it to the wall or we bolt to the wall and then have it resting on the frame and then put a piece of metal on it and welded it to where it doesn't move to where this crack and crap will stop and it doesn't creak anymore it was creaking and every time you pull it in and out of places but now we got that metal up there across the door that connecting the front to the wall because before that cap rests on the front of the bus on the top of the windshield and metal they got going across to the other wall there was nothing here so now that you put two bar two pieces of steel across there welded to each side that is now not moving creaking or doing anything which now is stable and will stop the cracking and bull crap and the, it, when I pull out of places, it's real quiet. Before, it was like the sound like the walls were going to fall off. But not no more. I'm going to clean that caulk around the uh, lights I put up. It was clear caulk, and it got dirty. And I'm going to clean that before it doesn't look like that. Everything is looking good. I'm really happy with the way that countertop turned out. Real happy. Oh, we got the door handle. I've got my door handle up. Put that plate on, got regular handle, and I got this. I like this better. And then what we did was we stuck a, a magnet up top. And that magnet now helps the door. It takes care of the hinge bound crap I had where it'll stay shut. And when I get out of the bus, I don't have to worry about it being, you know, open. Because that was what was happening. So I got that part taken care of. I got chained when I tent that window and put me a remote start in here soon. I talked to him about it the other day. He said he can do it. So I just got to schedule him to get that done. And uh, I'll show you the countertop. Hold on. We crawl in here. the trim cut that's going to go on the back and on the face and stuff and my plan is is I'm going to put like how you see in normal campers or houses below the cabinets on each side 
I'm gonna put something. There's gonna be an outlet there and there. There'll be an outlet for me to use for my cookware, whatever else I need. The fridge will be plugged in, and I'm gonna have the backsplash going across, and I'm gonna have curtains to where I can have the curtains closed, or I can open them up in the morning and cook and do whatever and see outside that's going to be the nice thing about these windows it's going to be a disadvantage when i'm in the cold and but once i get this figured out with my backsplash and what i'm going to put on the ends i want to put two by fours going from the bottom of the cabinets to the top on each end to help support them even more because i'll be bouncing and stuff and even though we did what we could do to make them strong as heck uh i'm going to still do that and then hide them to where it looks like something like part of the wall like like where you got the tile or whatever people put i'm gonna have it matching on both sides so far out to like here like that'll all be looking like wall that'll all look like wall and there'll just be an opening here you'll see and i gotta mount that water tank and get something on the outside to hook the water line up to and then hook my electric pump up to the water coming out to where it'll go to my sink and then the sink has a pull out thing that I'll be able to put my shower base right here there's gonna be a shower base there and that's gonna all be laminated too waterproof all the way around for the shower base so I'll sit on my toilet thing there and use the sink to shower once I get my hot water thing figured out I haven't done that yet but in time but I'll be able to use that to, to rinse my dishes or whatever be able to reach out here to rinse myself off soap up rinse myself off just for if i have to shower when i'm you know out for a week or two at a time at places where i'm not going to be able to shower otherwise i won't be using it that's not going to be a daily shower thing it's just for emergency and then i got to put wood and shelving and build up back there for that that used to be the gray paneling stuff there but we're going to build it out and i'm going to put shelving to where my beds back here i can put stuff but my bed next, I got actuators coming next Friday, and that's going to be framed in to where the actuators will lift the bed up in the air. I'll be able to pull my chair in, get situated, whatever, and then hop over the wall and hit the remote, and it'll lower the bed. And this is going to be a couch. I'm going to get cushions made for this, and then I'm putting a four-foot plank here four foot plank here that'll match the couch cushions and to where it's like a wraparound couch and it's going to be sitting on rails to where I'll be able to slide it down here to where I have access to cook get up in the cupboards and all that and when it's slid down here then all you'll see down here is my shower base and my toilet so I can use it when I need to and then slide the couch back over it and you won't know any of that's there and the will be wrapped around couch. Now what I'm not gonna do is build big backrests. We already did once. And he did it, adjusted it, and it just, it, for one, it took up too much of the couch. Two, I want curtains going down here, and it gave me a blind spot because it was this high up all the way down. I couldn't see out when I looked to my right to drive. It takes away the, the view of the windows, and this was the most important thing I wanted to when I go to nice places, you can see out. So I'm going to go with either some removable cushions or something to sit against here that you can take off and on, you know, whatever. I, I don't want to screw nothing to this wall and ruin that. And I'm not really worried about that anyway. For this trip with my daughter and her mom, I, I you know, they'll be fine. It's not important. They'll be able to, you know, sit against here, put something there to lean on or whatever. The bed will be back there. It'll be all right. But I'm building this for me, not anyone else this is being totally designed for me to get around in and live in to where this all being cushion and all this this is going to be my living area where i'm on my you know knees and butt a lot so it's going to be to my advantage to be able to get you know to all this and when i lift that bed up in the back when it goes up in the air i'm somehow going to design a table back there to where i can make it a work area like a desk and I can sit in my wheelchair, my electric chair back there and work on my desk back there, because that's huge. That's really big back there. Um, 
so that'll be my, I can, you know, work on my, pay my bills, do my internet stuff, uh, upload videos, and that'll be my, like, my little office area, and I'm gonna make it to where when it goes down, none of it's in the way. I'll see that when I get it done, too, but it's gonna be cool. TV's gonna go right there. I put a big TV here. We're gonna take that metal and cut it out. And that metal behind that mirror, all that is gonna cut out. That bar there is gonna move over. Over that way, I can build in and use that for storage. Put my PlayStation and different stuff. And when I'm driving, it'll be all access up there to put stuff. But then that'll be all covered and nice and sealed up, look good. I'm leaving that there the way it is pretty much. I'm not screwing with it. And then we're gonna do wood on the ceilings all the way down. I ordered two fans also this week. They're 140 bucks a piece. Um, they're intake and exhaust fans. You can do either or. And they got LED lights shining down. What? They, they, can you still see? You can still see out? No, I still can see daylight. Well, that ain't good. It's all caulked. You said that kind of weird. Makes I've me, got caulked. It, makes me, it makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, I know it makes you <laughs> But, uh, I forget what I was even saying there. But, yep, yeah, it's getting there. And we're going to have a, 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 oh, the exhaust fans. We're going to mount the exhaust fans up there there'll be one in the front and one in the back one will one will suck in one will blow out to where it'll really circulate air when i'm cooking and if i don't have my air on up somewhere i can flip them on just to have you know air circulation when i'm not using my air but i'm leaving that carpet there so it's just loose but i'm gonna leave it there because that is like very 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 thick there it's got different laminate wood and insulation and all kinds of stuff between that carpet and the top of the bus. So it's well insulated for, they had it built like that. That's one thing they did right. They did do the ceiling for hauling people because it had eight seats in here and two spots in the back for wheelchairs. And that's one thing they did do is they paid to have the roof done right as far as insulation goes. And I'm gonna leave it and just put wood up and stain it I might paint it. I was going to stain it, and then I decided to paint it because it's faster and cheaper. And I stained that wood for the trim and really liked it a lot, so now I'm saying I'm going to go back and stain it. I don't know. It'll, it'll, you'll see when I get it up. But that's the wood that he's putting up. Yes, it's a different color, but that's going to go all over the roof, too, and everywhere else around that they trim stuff out. He'll be able to use that, and uh, it'll all match. That goes there. So it'll all match and look good. That looks good. You'll see it when we get it. Hey, we got the shelves he cut yesterday. So this week I'm going to sand them down with the DA sander and then put two coats of white to where my shelves will be white and look good. The ones that were with it, they matched the underneath that wood color there. And they're like $20 a piece, and I'm not buying those again. So I'm making them. I'm going to save money and make those again since I already lost them. I don't know what happened to them. They might be in my old house. Amy might have them. Amy Weirich's got them, I think, maybe. If not, then they got thrown out. But Mike's trying to figure out why he removed all that caulk and caulked it and can still see daylight out of a crack we see back there. But that's it, guys. You can be in no more dumb videos. I think I'm done for the day as far as making videos. I made enough yesterday. I didn't even use my GoPro. I might get my GoPro out today and try to make a video and then see if I can upload and get to work. It's not the way I want because I want to do it through my, uh, I want my, I want my GoPro to connect to the internet when I come home every day and put it up in the cloud off of my internet. And it says it'll do that, but I cannot get my GoPro to connect to the damn router. I don't know what the deal is, but once it does, 
every time I come home, my GoPro automatically upload the video to the cloud or I can get to my computer and my phone and use the editing software through GoPro that I pay a subscription for and edit my videos a lot better than what I was doing. That's the plan. But right now, I'm figuring out out of all this that I've been trying to do, for some reason, my laptop is letting me download the videos from the GoPro by plugging it into the side like it did before. It wasn't letting me do that, but now it's doing that again. And I got that video of the mouse the other day, but I'm gonna, I really gotta start being more dedicated to the, making videos and getting that figured out. I will. Just got so much going on. It's so hard to try to get everything done and keep busy and. I got lots of parts coming. I got lots of stuff here waiting for the trailer. I got to put it in. I'm waiting on my beauty rings and center caps for the trailer. And then I'm going to paint the rims red like I did that spare tire and put the beauty rings on. But before I do that, I want to see what they look like on the spare. I want to see what the beauty rings and the center caps look like. If they look all right with that red spare tire, then I'm going to do that. If they look stupid and don't cover much, like I'm hoping they do, um, we'll figure something else out. But hope you guys have a good Sunday, and I think that's all I wanted to say for the day. Oh, we painted in behind the fridge black because it was like green crap. So I put gloss black on there. In the back and above and around where all that looks good. So, little by little, it's going. I, I still got to figure out my stereo system, too. I put a new head unit in. haven't gotten the subs and the amps and that stuff done yet but it's gonna happen because I'm gonna be jamming out like Kenmore style in the high school I'll be having some beats in here when I cruise the country jamming out to some Cypress Hill or something who knows all right guys I will be back peace